Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay Hyde. Right now, we're headed to Elegant Reef here in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, it's a dope local fish store. Uh, it's not like a, a PetSmart or a Petco. These guys are pretty knowledgeable as far as fish, um, as far as freshwater fish and marine fish. Uh, so I wanna go ahead and show y'all around the store. Um, and then when we leave in the store, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some fish uh, for the tank. And if you've seen the coat pod video that I have, you already know what's in my tank already. Uh, I have those two clownfish. I have that damsel, um, and then I also have uh, the firefish. I have my little cleaner shrimp, a couple snails, a couple crabs. Uh, but here we go. We're about to go ahead and go into Elegant Reef, let y'all see what they got, uh, and then we go get, go ahead and grab some new fish, uh, and then go ahead and put them in the tank. All right, so we're pulling up to Elegant Reef right now. This is the spot, man. If you, you're looking for some marine fish in San Antonio, you're looking for some freshwater fish in San Antonio, this is the spot to get them. We're right here uh, off in the coma, Elegant Reef Tropical Fish Studio. Uh, again, I've been going out to this place since uh, I was a little kid. This is a real dope place as far as marine and freshwater fish. Uh, they have all types of things. I'm gonna let y'all see what they got inside, uh, but let's go ahead and get it. No, I don't. Yeah. You should look in. We have some really nice small yellow tanks right now. You'll be able to have them for a while. They're so, algae years. yeah. But eventually, you would have to swap them out or get a bigger tank for them. Okay. Yeah, at least at least the 145. Okay. If you wanted to keep them for it. Yeah, yeah. What about them? Is that a hawk fish? That guy right there? Yeah, yeah. yeah he's a long nose hawk. So he's the exact same thing almost as him. Uh -huh. Just with the longer, more slender body and that snout. Yeah. Man. It'd be cool to have. He's a little, a lot less expensive than him too. Yeah. So the thing about the hawkfish is they don't have much of a swim bladder. So that's uh -huh. why they're always perched or always like kind of just constantly moving. Is yeah. Because they, yeah. they can't float like those guys can. Yeah, true. Yeah. So that's a cool thing to have in the tank. Are the hawkfish carnivores too, or are they? Yeah, so they're 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 uh, they're meat eaters. Um, so you have to be careful with like snails and hermit crabs and things like that because they okay. have the potential to go after them. Okay. Yeah. But as long as you keep him well fed, I don't see any reason why he should. True. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I think I may actually take them two off y'all today. It's a good little little combo right there, yeah. man. Yeah. Alright, you have a good one. Talk to Vinny and uh, find, find a good day. Yeah, I gotta talk to him. couple of fish, couple of snails, couple of crabs. They had a nice little special going on. Plus, they gave me a military discount. I mean, they hook it up pretty well as far as uh, pricing and the type of fish that they got in there. All right, y'all, so we just left Elegant Reef. Uh, we got our chorus wrasse. We got our long nose hogfish. We got four snails and then we got four crabs uh, for our cleaner crew. But yeah, man, uh, headed back to the crib right now. As you can see, I, I, I'm driving back to the crib with no music on. I, I like to kind of give the fish 
uh, a smooth transition into the tank. I know it's already tough on the fish getting getting chased around in the aquarium with that net, uh, so they're probably stressed out. So I, I don't want to stress them out anymore by banging some Chance the Rapper or some Gucci, even though that new uh, Big Fish song is pretty dope. I became the big fish, y'all. Yeah, I, I like to keep it quiet as far as the car ride home. Just kind of keep the stress level down as much as possible. And again, just kind of like in the Coat Pod video, when I introduce these fish to the tank, I'm gonna turn off all the lights. Um, I'll keep the pumps running because the pumps have nothing to do with the, the fish and uh, kind of them getting acclimated to the tank. That's more so a, a Coat Pod thing because you want them to, to uh, make their way throughout the tank and not have get sucked up by the pumps and all that stuff. I'm not worried about that with the fish, so I'll just have the lights off. Um, and just kind of make it a, a smooth transition from the tank uh, that they were in to the tank that they're gonna be in right now. All right, man, so we're pulling up to the crib. Let's get these fish put up in this tank. You know me, I like to back into my spots. So, when you're getting these bad boys in the tank, then you gotta acclimate them. So how you do that is you just float them in the tank. And I float them for a good hour and a half. And for like the first 30 minutes, I'll just let them float there, get used to the water temperature of my tank. And then I'll go ahead and pour some of the water from my tank into the bag over the next hour in 10 minute increments. I pour water into the bag about six times. Um, another thing I like to do and another reason I like Elegant Reef uh, is that they bag their fish separately. So, I mean, in this small bag, we, if having two fish in there, would they just chase each other around and stress each other out. Um, but having them separate, they kind of, it relieves that stress on them of all that transportation. Um, so, yeah, another reason why I like going to Elegant Reef. And again, when putting the fish in the tank, you don't want to put the water from the aquarium in the tank with the fish. Uh, you just want to net the fish out of the bag. So you're just putting them straight from the bag to the, the tank without pouring them in there. Uh, the reason you do that is because you don't want to have uh, like any, any bad water that's coming from the aquarium so you really just want to net them out of the bag um, and get them right into the tank without pouring them in and you want to dump the rest of the water out but we made it work thanks to elegant reef we're gonna go ahead and get these fish in here uh they're about done acclimating so i'm gonna go ahead and let you see what it looks like having them in the tank Everything in the tank, put them on 
I waited a while to show y'all this because when I put him in here, this rash, he dug himself into the sand bed. And that's what they do when they're scared or something. They just hide in the sand. So I waited a while for him to come out, but he looks good. Shout out Elegant Reef. Yeah, that's about it.